Tuhan na nating mag-solve ng mga linear equations ng mga linear inequalities. To, ngayon naman, ang gagawin naman natin is magsosolve tayo ng mga absolute value equation. Now, alam natin ang absolute value is always going to give us a positive result every time na nandun sa loob ng absolute value symbol yung ating mga number. For example, if we have the absolute value of 5, it's simply equal to 5. At kung i-evaluate naman natin yung absolute value ng negative 5, it's still equal to 5. Dahil ang absolute value by definition is yung distance ng number mo mula sa 0. So kaya always positive yung magiging sagot pag in-evaluate mo yung number inside the absolute value. Now for example, sa pag-solve naman ng absolute value equation, Halimbawa, meron tayong absolute value of x plus 5 is equal to 3. Ang pag-solve niyan kasi since meron tayong um, values for positive and negative number na always going to give us a positive result, pwede rin natin siyang i-apply dun sa mga absolute value equation tulad nito. So ang gagawin lang natin kapag ka yung ating expression like x plus 5 is inside the absolute value symbol equal to a number, Isi-split nyo lang siya into two different equations wherein yung x plus 5 nyo is equal to 3 at yung isang x plus 5 nyo is equal to negative 3. And then, meron kayong dalawang separate equations na dapat isolve kaya magkakaroon ka ng dalawang values ng x. So, pag-solve ng absolute value of x plus 5 is equal to 3 is simply getting rid of positive 5 dun sa first set nyo ng equation. So, subtract 5 on both sides. So, yung first value ng inyong absolute value equation will be x equal to negative 2. At yung second value nyo naman will be x plus 5 is equal to negative 3. And then, subtract 5 on both sides and you'll have x equal to negative 8. So, dalawa ngayon yung values ng inyong absolute value equation. Isang x is equal to negative 2 which should be equal to 3 kapag in-evaluate nyo siya, at x equal to negative 8, which is also equal, equal to 3 kapag in-evaluate nyo siya. At kung i-verify naman natin yung sagot natin, let's say at x equal to negative 2, at pinlog in natin siya sa value ng x dito sa ating absolute value equation, ito yung magiging result niya. Mapapansin nyo na pagka x is equal to negative 2, pinalitan natin yung x natin ng negative 2, which gives us positive 3, kasi negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3, which is equal dun sa ating equation, which is 3 is equal to 3. So therefore, identity siya nung ating solution. Now, paano naman kung ang pinili natin is negative 8? Kung x is equal to negative 8 at pilag in natin siya dun sa ating absolute value equation, dapat parehas din na 3 ang magiging sagot. And true enough, kapag sinubstitute natin yung negative 8 sa ating equation, yung sagot natin will be 3 equal to 3, which is also true for x equal to negative 8. So, kaya dalawa yung possible answers natin sa absolute value dahil pwede kang magkaroon ng negative and positive value and still your answer will be positive. So, ito yung process ng pagsasolve ng absolute value equation. So, kung meron tayong number 2, absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to negative 7, to solve for x, we need to split it into 2. Yung isa is negative 7 at yung isa naman is equal to positive 7. Now, solve the first set of your equation. x minus 2 is equal to negative 7. Add 2 on both sides and the first value of x will be x equal to negative 5. At yung second value of x nyo naman will be 2 or add 2 on both sides and you'll have x equal to positive 9. Now, sa example number 2 and number 3, magkakaroon tayo ng mga multi-steps para masolve natin yung equation or absolute value equation. So, for number 1, we have 2 absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to 10. Now, isa sa mga hindi nyo dapat gawin or isa sa mga common mistake na pwede nyo uh, makumit dito sa pag-solve ng absolute value equation na to is i-distribute si 2 sa loob ng absolute value. Hindi pwedeng i-distribute si 2 sa loob ng ating absolute value equation kasi i-define niya yung property ng ating absolute value. So, ang kailangan nyo gawin is to divide both sides by 2 para matanggal nyo yung 2 by the absolute value. Kasi hindi nyo siya pwede agad-agad na split into 2 Kasi, magsisplit lang kayo into 2 kapag ka absolute value is equal to a number yung inyong equation. So, in this case, you have 2 absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to 10. Divide both sides by 2. Ngayon, meron ka na lang absolute value of x plus 3 equal to 5. Now, kapag ang equation ng absolute value nyo is 
malinis na, which means wala ng number sa paligid ng absolute value, pwede nyo na siyang i-split into 2. Kaya meron ka ngayong x plus 3 is equal to 5, and x plus 3 is equal to negative 5. And tulad sa ginawa natin before, just solve for x dun sa first set at dun sa second set. Kaya meron tayong dalawang values ng x, which is positive 2 and negative 8. So ito yung sagot natin para sa example number 2 using multi-step um, problem. Now, for example number 3, we have 3 plus 5, absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to 13. Now, to solve for the value of x, kailangan linisin uli natin yung uh, values natin. So, una natin, tatanggalin si positive 3. So, subtract 3 on both sides, and you'll have 5, absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to 10. Now, ang susunod yung step is to get rid of 5, so divide both sides by 5, which leaves you with absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to 2. Ngayon na malinis na uli yung absolute value equation nyo, dahil absolute value na lang yung natira, you can split into 2 and solve for x dun sa dalawang sets natin. So, ang dalawang values ng x natin will be x equal to 4 and x equal to 0.